Hey, have you seen this creepy show on Netflix called Too Hot to Handle? It's a show where the voiceover narrator boasts that they lied to contestants who are super beautiful and self-identify as sluts. And they go like, oh, you can come on this island. You're going to be with all these other sexy people. But once they get there and they get like all... The show tells them you can't have sex and you can't kiss and you can't masturbate and you can't have oral sex and you can't have anal sex. You can't have any sex for weeks on end. Now, first of all, this is not very good for the human human system, the human body, needs to have things happen. It can't just shut the fuck down. That's not healthy. Aside from that, let me tell you why this is a fucking creepy ass show. It's creepy because you go, well, how are they going to enforce people not having sex? Pretty simple to do. You have cameras everywhere. You even have cameras right on their genitals. This is not a close-up that I made. This is a close-up screenshot from the show. They're like, they're like, oh, look at this. Look how, look over here. Look at this. So the show is a hypocrite. They're like, hey, you know, you can't like have any kind of like sexual activity, but we're going to profit off of your sexuality. We're going to super just completely exploit the fuck out of you. And you're like, oh, but Doug, this is just a close-up of the crotches, right? Wait, hold on. Hey, exploitation. Now, I'm all for self-exploitation. The guy signed on the dotted line. He knows his camera's there. He takes his pants off. That's fine with me. That's great. Except for the fact that he's kept from having sexual activity for the time he's here. You're probably like, well, why don't they just masturbate and fuck in the showers? Oh, because there's cameras on the showers, as you can tell here and here. So then you're probably thinking like, well, they probably masturbated in the bathroom, right? No. These crazy producers, they hired what they called pervy producers or pervy assistants. And they go, haha, just joking. But no, really, we had people sitting outside the bathrooms listening to the heavy breathing of people while they're on the toilet to make sure they weren't masturbating and having heavy breathing on the toilet. Are you telling me that someone can't be in the bathroom masturbating and like somehow covering up their breath or what? I mean, so meanwhile, there's a voiceover narrator and this woman is always reading these like lines written for her or maybe she's writing them. I don't know. But the lines sound like someone from the 1800s or some Victorian era prude is like, oh my God, how dare this person kiss them? And oh my God, you're getting very close to like kissing or something. And it's like, man, what the fuck kind of prude ass are you? You know, shut the fuck up. You can't simultaneously go like, like, hey, viewer, check out this sexy person. And at the same time, be like, that sexy person is disgusting for wanting to have sex. Like, what kind of fucking mixed message bullshit is this, you stupid fucking asshole piece of shit show? You see this guy? They're constantly on this guy's ass because he's wanting to get it on because he's like 20 or 21 or something. And he's sexy. He's like sexy and he's horny. You know, like here he is naked. So the show's like, hey, check out this naked guy who can't masturbate. So you're like, what's the stick and carrot for this show? Okay, so the, the carrot is, in the end of season one, they divided $100,000 among a bunch of people who got to the end. So each contestant got an extra 10 grand on top of whatever salary they got for being on this show. So if you're a super hot model type person, the question is, can you go like three weeks or however many weeks they went on this tropical island with other beautiful people, mostly naked all the time, and not have any sexual congress for like 10 grand? Is it worth 10 grand? This would be an interesting question if it weren't so fucking creepy. So how in it was this show here's a couple that was having oral sex and they were caught on this camera and then the next day they're like we're gonna deduct so many thousands of dollars from the grand prize pool which we're gonna like spread out among like eight or ten people or whatever it was so like this blowjob cost this couple i don't know a few hundred bucks like it seems kind of fucking worth it to me <laughs> so you're probably like well the season two people saw the first season of too hot to handle and they knew what they were getting themselves into when they signed up for the show no they were lied to. They were told they were going to be in this show called Parties in Paradise. So they go, ha ha, you're going to be in this show called Parties in Paradise. And you can be on this island with a lot of hot people and have lots of sex. So in their mind, the contestants were like, oh my God, you know, I'm going to be on this island with all these beautiful people. They had no idea that they were going to be told they had to be like chased for weeks on end. Or they were going to like lose some prize and get thrown off some show. And people do get thrown off the show if they don't take the show seriously. Let me tell you what this crazy show does to these people. One of the things it does is it makes the women look at their vaginas and their vulvas in these mirrors. So this show is like, you can't have sex and you can't masturbate and you can't kiss and you can't have oral sex. Or we're gonna deduct money from you, but we're gonna film you looking at your vulva inside your vagina on camera. 
What drives me crazy about this is there's a thing that TV news used to do a lot of back in like the old days. They would go like, here's a bunch of sexy stuff that we're showing you and we disprove of it, but we're going to profit off of it. And that's exactly what this show is doing. They're like, oh, look at these dumbass sluts that we're trying to fix their lives by making them not be so sexual anymore. But look at them and see how beautiful they are and make sure you're subscribed to Netflix and give us that money. Money for naked people who we won't let fuck. I mean, look how beautiful these people are. Look at these fine specimens of sexual beings. This guy says the thing he's most proudest of is his dick. It is comparable in size to this air freshener can. So this beautiful guy with this giant tool is supposed to keep it under wraps for three or four weeks or however long they fucking film this fucking show for. Give me a fucking break. Oh, and here's the other disgusting thing about the fucking show. Whenever anybody breaks the rules, the voiceover narrator goes like, tiss, 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 don't you know that you're costing your team money? And it's like, a kiss costs $3,000. So when someone breaks the rules, the show voiceover is like, money is everything. Kissing sucks. Sex sucks. Do everything for money. This is what Netflix represents with this show. Now, am I going to keep watching it? Yeah. I'm going to put it on in the background. I'm put the volume down. I'm going to put some music on or something like that. I used to watch Charmed like that. If there's one reason I'm glad I watched the show, it's to see this woman, Chloe. Chloe is like a female Russell Brand. She's hot. She's sexy. She's dumb. I hope she's in every reality show for the next five years. She's great. So if you watch this show, I don't really blame you because everybody's really pretty. But what I recommend is you turn the volume down because when you're fucking listening to them talk, they don't say a lot of interesting things. And then the other thing is the voiceover narrative, that shit is fucking god awful. They're always like, tisk, tisk, tisk. Oh, 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 I can't believe you kissed that person. You've just cost everybody some money. And the bullshit reason that they give these contestants for not having sex is they go like, we're trying to make you more complete people who don't just think about sex but you think about love and connections but the producers told the media the reason they came up with the show is because they saw the masturbation episode of Seinfeld the episode where there was a financial incentive for whoever masturbated last they wanted to do a beautiful show with beautiful people on a beach set to this idea from Seinfeld but when you're watching the show they're like we're trying to make you feel bonded so I'm sure you're like why are you sticking up for a bunch of hot people on an island you know why because I am the spokesperson for hot people who want to have sex. So on a scale from one to five, I would give this show two stars. Thanks, everybody. I love you. I hope you're making the best day of your life.